and welcome to our live feed breaking news show where we fill you guys in on everything that has happened on the Big Brother show and live feeds and so much has happened since the HOH on Thursday. So we are here to fill you in on all of it. Of course, you guys know, join our Zbox room. Links are below because we will be in there chatting with you guys tonight. Plus, we're doing exclusive, you know, videos in there, blogs. Michelle's posting all of her blogs. So you can get the info right away. We're also doing prizes, contests, and you know, autograph giveaways. So you guys, don't forget, join our room and follow me over at Twitter. I'm at Reality Recaps. Hey, it's John Richardson from Seattle. Make sure you hang out with me tonight with the West Coast Beat of Big Brother in our Z-Box room and on Twitter. And you can find me at Comedy Jonah. Hey, you guys, Michelle from the Bronx here. You can follow me at You Got Bronx on Twitter. Sorry about those CBS Time Warner people. Yikes, what are you guys going to do? Check us out. We'll help you out. Yay. <laughs> so what did you want to say, Michelle? You okay. were like, ready to go. Okay, so I kind of left everybody with a cliffhanger last uh, on our last show that we did on Friday about uh, Thursday's live show. So the people that have been on Twitter and on Facebook, they probably already know this, but some of the people that just watch regular TV might not know that it wasn't a live, live audience. It was CBS actors, CBS employees, and some actors, and they turned the people that actually had holding tickets away in fear of something going on with Howard. Maybe there would have been either some cackling because of the Amanda Howard comment craziness that went down. It could have been some in favor of, you know, support for the racism that he had to deal with. But CBS said, you know what? Cut it. So they did the live eviction early and then wait, they waited enough time to where the live show would just about have enough time to get to the regular HOH competition. We went live from that point on. So the HOH endurance comp was right on point live prior. It was taped. So the first 45 minutes I heard was taped with yes. Howard's eviction, his interview. The last 15 minutes was live, and that was the HOH competition. Right. Crazy. Crazy. I, I, will, I will, yes, Michelle knew it early, but wouldn't tell you, so what good is that? Um, I will say, who is telling you guys stuff, I need to just do a little cross-promoting, because I thought this was very interesting. Rob Sesternino actually did the interview with Howard, and it's at his website, robaswebsite.com, right now. He flat out asked Howard about the drama with Amanda, and in case you don't feel like going and listening to it, I will tell you, Howard is claiming he did say that, but that it was all in, you know, good fun, and he was joking around, um, and that it didn't start that way either. He was saying, I'm, I, I know I'm going home, I know I'm going to be out of the house, you know, I, I just, I think you're really hot. And he says he was joking with her in a sexual way, the same way that Amanda jokes with him and everybody else. So I'm just giving you, that's his answer. I have heard, I have not heard anybody else ask him that question or him answer it. So I was actually just listening to that and I thought it was amazing. And if you want to hear the whole thing, go check it out on Rob's website. But, I, I I'm shocked that he's Christian, okay? I don't not, think Christian has anything to do with the man having a sex drive. It does when you're supposed to, you know, the Lord would not like that. You don't say that to a woman. And, you know, Amanda getting all weird about it. Oh, my God, I'm scared. Look at the crap coming out of her mouth. Ay, 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 ay. So... <laughs> the Lord well, won't like it. Well, uh, well, apparently Amanda has something to bite on for the next, I think, uh, 20, 24 hours. So, where we where we left off with you guys on our last breaking news show, um, you already know the HOH was completed. Um, we had Howard, uh, not Howard, Spencer, <laughs> Candice, and who was the third one, Michelle? Ellen. And Ellen. Ellen all fell. Howard got the bullhorn. Candace got five thousand dollars. And what did Helen get? Barbecue. She got the barbecue. Barbecue for with three people in the house. Hence yes. where we yes. left off. 
Yes. So if you guys want all the details on that, go check out our group recap show in the spoiler section. We get into all of that in depth. Now, since then, the players for the POV competition have been picked, and America's MVP choice has been revealed. Yep. John Richardson, who is America's MVP? <laughs> It's Amanda! Yay! Yay! Boo! Yay! Boo. I, wait, no. This is my new thing. Anytime I talk about Amanda, go, Amanda! I hate you. Go, Amanda! I hate I'm going to get all the Twitter followers on my side. I have to support both camps. <laughs> Yay, Amanda! Okay, go ahead, Michelle. Go ahead. I know you got a lot to say about it. Oh, she obviously, she her being nominated, she freaked out. You know, after having to listen to Gina Marie make these two, you know, awesome nominations, which we found out later on, she flat out zinged both Candace and Jesse. And then America comes back and says, hey, guess what, Amanda? You're going back on the block. Amanda's freaking out, and... She just, just wants to know, why does everybody hate her? Like, what does she do to deserve this? It was a beautiful meltdown. Beautiful. You know, the paranoia is still going on. The it's they still think it's inside the house. They'll touch base and say it's outside, like they think it's America, and then whip it around right again. <laughs> um yeah, okay, go ahead, John. What was that? I said <laughs> I said, you know, Amanda doesn't know why no one likes her, and I said, just ask Candace mm -hmm. and Jesse. I agree. I agree. So, players, so Amanda is nominated. Our players for the POV competition <laughs> are Spence, not Spence, yes, yeah, Spencer. Well, not Spencer was picked. Because he's nominated. Yeah, here, <laughs> somebody has a case of the Sundays again, so I'm going to let Michelle tell you who was picked for the POV. Go ahead, Michelle. Okay, so so you have, you have, um, you have who? <laughs> exactly. Spencer? You know, Spencer. That, no, Spencer no, got No, not picked. Spencer. Got picked. No? Um, Spencer got picked. Judd got picked. Amanda, um, Amanda was up being up on the on the block with, and Jesse was playing, and Candace was playing. So you have all those players for the POV, and Aaron hosted the competition, and it wound up being like the bad Santa competition where you trade out prizes and you get something. And it was uh, from what we hear, crazy because they fought throughout the whole competition. They mm -hmm. fought. They were yelling and screaming. There was banter back and forth. Amanda was giving it to Candace. Candace was giving it to Amanda. Aaron was yelling, shut up. Andy was yelling, shut up. Production was sitting up there laughing. And I'm sure Gina Marie was screaming, this one's for you, Nick. Well, now, th now, now, you bring up a very good point, Michelle. And since I didn't do such a long intro, I will say this. That all happened last night. If you guys were following Michelle's blog, I know you're all waiting to watch the one. Michelle is putting this stuff out right as it happens. So, like, if you want to watch us all talk about it, you can wait for the videos. But if you want it, like, right away, you should be following Michelle's blog. And you can do that over at yourrealityrecap.com slash bbblog. And the links are always below. Always right. below. Always, always, always. Yeah. So, yeah. So now... It was the knockout, like you said, Michelle. The bad and, Santa. Yeah. yeah, the bad Santa, the knockout, the keep the prize or trade it with somebody else. Right. So <laughs> let's go with um, order of, you know, least interesting <laughs> to most interesting. Okay. Um, so what one do you, who, who do you think won the least interesting one, Michelle? Give us one. Um, I think the least interesting one was Judd. Mm-hmm. He won five thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Five thousand dollars. That's the least interesting in this recap here. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Next, next, which any ex Big Brother players could probably let us know this because I'd be interested to know. Spencer ended up taking from somebody the trip to Hawaii. Bahamas. Now, Bahamas. I mean Bahamas, Bahamas. So, um, he said he did it. Be a Judd said. He could have taken it from Spencer, but decided to keep the five thousand dollars because he doesn't know if he's going to go on a if he'd be able to go on a vacation. What I want to know is, 
could they have traded the trip in for the value of the trip, uh, or do they have to take the trip? You're saying yes, Michelle? Yeah, I think um, I think uh, Jeff wound up when he won the Hawaiian trip, he traded it in. So do we know if that's greater or lesser than five thousand dollars, or we don't know? Well, we know significant wise that the least impressive one is five thousand. I think a trip to the Bahamas, depending upon where you live. Now he lives down over in the south, so the Bahamas isn't that hard far for him to go, and you, you, you will pretty much take a shuttle plane from Miami to the Bahamas for $89. So is it a big deal? Might be up there in a couple of thousand dollars. If you're going to go value, it's probably not as big, you know, as, as that five, five grand. So way to go, Judge. You made the right choice then. Okay, okay. So okay. now okay. my favorite one, although ah! I, can't, I can okay. only remember two of the three. Okay, so. I, I want to know something really quick. Yeah, go. Hurry up. So... <laughs> So if when he won the five thousand dollars, and let's say in a week he's on the block, and he, you know, can he give the money no. away, saying, "Listen, I'll give you five thousand dollars uh, if you keep me around." No, non-barterable. No? He cannot barter. Okay. Well, okay. I I will say we don't we haven't seen the episode yet. We don't know house. that what hundred percent. They would have talked sure. about it. He would he would have said it. He would have said he would have been able to barter with it. One hundred percent. At this I, point. They they have in the past, John. Right. So if they have in the past, okay, time, yeah. Yes, they have in the past. Okay, that's what I thought. Go okay. on. Okay. Okay. So we have so... three. We have three. <laughs> three people left that won prizes. Prizes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I only remember what Gina Marie and Amanda's is, Michelle. Okay. So who is the other one? Uh, Candace. <laughs> oh, duh, duh. The. Okay. So wait. I Hashtag will go, the. I will do. Um, Candace, John, you do Amanda, because I know you know that one, and Michelle, you do Gina Marie, New York, go. Okay. Uh, well, Gina Marie got a sh cone of shame that she has to wear. You know the dog collars when the dogs can't um, or have surgery and they're not supposed to uh, touch their affected area? Well, Gina Marie is sporting a full-on cone with her microphone clipped up there. She is popping popcorn into her face. They're rolling Skittles into her open mouth. She's being a big sport about it. She took a bubble bath last night, and she wore the, the cone of shame in the tub with her thong. Um, she's taking it really well. It echoes. She's learning how, how, how loud she is, I guess, in her own little world there, but she's being a really good sport about it. But mark my words on this one. She's gonna let everybody know. I took her like a chip. I guarantee you, she's she has H O H itis, and she's gonna use that. I took her like a chip. I did my thing, so I don't want to hear anybody complain. Er, got she, it. She she's been complaining, not complaining, but she's been like, they'll let me take it off to sleep, but I'm not gonna do that. I got this, and since I got it, I'm gonna do it the way it has to be done. And shut up, Gina Marie. I have a lot to say on her. But it ties into Candace's punishment, so I'm gonna hold off. Right. John Richardson, let's go to your funny. What happened to Amanda? What? What? Forty-eight hours is all she has to do it for. So. Brilliant. Go ahead, John. So Amanda mm -hmm. has to get spray tanned every time the music plays. Mm -hmm. And I think you know what? I think they were just trying to give her a little more color because she was lacking it. Yes. Except we know it's less spray tan, according to Amanda, and more orange food coloring. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. The, the, mm -hmm. song, the song that they play is, get your tan on, you gotta get your tan on. So, I know. <laughs> I love it. I love that song. If they don't play it on the show, I will totally get it for our next recap because <laughs> I think it's hysterical. <laughs> but I just got to say, Amanda, that shit don't come out. You're no, screwed. She's stained. You're screwed for at least two to three weeks <laughs> until all attitude. your skin comes off. <laughs> She'll like... just have to sit in the chlorine pool and funk the crap would, out of that pool. I, I would kill her. That's the only way she's going to be able to do it. I have some beautiful screen caps on my blog about it. I just crack up every time she has to go out there. I love this prize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it is as good as... Candace's prize, though, <gasps> she got the unitard, and it is the clowny tard. She is being dressed up as a as as Aaron's clown. Time out. 
Aaron wow. is associating it as her clown because clown is in there, and we know production likes a good thing. I don't want to give Aaron too much credit on this. I'm just sure they said, hey, Candace is really tall, and this one is an extra tall, so we can get her in it, but... They made it to look exactly like Aaron's clown. It looks exactly like her clown. Well, I mean, no, it's because clown. Aaron's clown is in black. Well, it's a clown. Oh, don't all clowns pretty much look alike? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait! I forgot. I forgot my favorite part. I forgot my favorite part. Wait, before I even get into it. Oh, I can't even remember something. Wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold. Yeah, exactly. Hey, John. John. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad you are an Amanda? Oh. Mm. oh. That was terrible. Uh, I thought it was really funny last night, but then again, it was just the no sleeping. Okay, yeah, wait, Michelle. It. Before I get into Candace, <laughs> before I get into Candace, what did you did was did you say there was something? Yeah, I mean, when Aaron and everybody was waiting for Candace to come out. Aaron was seemed to be the most excited. Like she's like, this is the best thing. This she's gonna be so humiliated. She's I, just punch. Is she gonna punch me in the face? I can't believe that she said that. By the way, and and when you hear it again at the second time and the third time, I pretty much took it as a joke. But the first time, because of everything that Aaron said, I was I was on alert, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, and she said it again, and it was like, oh, you mean just punch you in the face, like you know, slap you silly. Oh. oh Okay. Yeah, well, that is what I want to get into right now. Because, yes, that did happen while they were waiting. You know, finally that happened. But what I found more disturbing, and now to go back to your Gina Marie. Gina Marie, wearing the cone, eating the food, letting people throw the ball to you, doing the whole Gina Marie contest, which we need to talk about a little bit. That's the Gina Marie that I love. However... The Gina Marie up in the HOH room with uh, Aaron before Candace came out saying, uh, this is what Candace deserves. She deserves to go out looking like a clown. They were calling her Homie the Clown. We can't wait to see Homie the Clown come out looking like a fool. Uh, yeah. Gina Marie refused to go downstairs. She didn't even want any part of being there to see it. They were just attacking her, making fun of her. It was so disgusting, and I'm sick of it. Sick of it. They are, like, killing the fun of Big Brother with their racist shit. And they need penalty. Penalty noms. Start pe penalizing these people if you make any racist remark. Over. Yeah, I, I remember her doing all that, and, I, uh, you know, there was a lot of people in the house that kind of just let her go along with it. Spencer, Andy, Judd. Judd didn't know what it was. I mean, these people were just like, you know, then Spencer knew exactly what was going on. So they, they, they had a, a, a chance to say, yo, maybe at this point, because of everything that's going on, you should just, like, as Big Brother says, shut it down. But she didn't. She did sit up in the HOH and make like she was watching TV, changing the channel, watching as Candace was coming out, eating popcorn, and had her family pictures of Nick supporting her, swear she refused to go down there, and then she finally got HOH-itis again and went to the balcony and looked down upon the peasants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so over it. Cannot stand her. But it was also funny because all the people were in the room with Bash and Candace. And I swear, what I think happened was the light bulb went off in their head because they were like, we're not going down there. We're staying up here. She can come out and say to nobody. And then as soon as they said that, it's almost like they all went, but then we're not going to get airtime. So then one by one, they all made up excuses of why they had to go down there to be there when she walked out. It was hysterical. Like, you're all sellouts. Yeah. You all don't stick to anything. So, okay. So, do you think go. that she looked good or bad? I think she looked good. She was complaining that it was too tight. They had to make her a second one. I mean, it was too loose. They had to make her a second one, which she said was also not tight enough. But I, I think she looks good. Yeah. I think it was tight enough. Um, I, You know what was funny about it to me was that it was actually almost a letdown in Aaron's eyes, I think. She looked a little disappointed. Like, she definitely couldn't jump up and down. She couldn't say anything. So all the crap talk she was doing before Candace came out, she couldn't do. And she just sat there. And then she picked up her little stuffed animal and walked away. Yes, you are carrying a frigging clown around. You are no Brittany, and you are not carrying a cute old big teddy bear. Give it up. 
I also, I forget who said it on Twitter, but somebody was like, I don't know why Aaron is complaining about Candace wearing a clown suit. Here is Aaron in her clown suit, and it was just her in her normal clothes. <laughs> and I thought, I, thought that was, I thought that was really funny. Now, wait, because I, I think we need to go back to one thing, and it is the Gina Marie contest, where remember how we told you guys on the group recap how Helen could give out the prize to four people. She chose Aaron and Alyssa, and then she chose McCray. No, um, GM. GM. She chose Gina, Gina Marie. Marie, who couldn't use it, so she wanted to hold a contest, and the contest is people had to do their best impressions of her, which was hysterical. It will be in um, the next mashup next week, or this coming up week when you guys are watching this. <laughs> However, all said and done, we told you guys about the huge fight that Jesse yes. had with Amanda because yes. she felt like this whole time she feels like she's being replaced by Aaron. Yep. So that fueled that fire. Yada, yada, yada. GM contest. Jesse ends up winning it. All right, technically McCray wins it, right. and then he gives it to Jesse, right. but still, all for nothing. Right. Everything is all for nothing, but th this this whole last POV um, fight, I, is it's still it's still very tangible in the house. Candace is already saying her side, like, the, um, Amanda and Candace went at it. And um, the flashbacks on the blog, I'm not going to repeat half of the crap that I heard, but it is brutal, and it apparently went on for a long time. But Amanda is Amanda's pretty brutal with her mouth. I, everybody is. Every, it, oh, listen, I like sassy Candace. I love sassy Candace, and I like a good comeback. So if you put the two of them in a game, what do you think you're going to get? I like sassy, but I don't like crude and just belittling and okay all right I, I, my my I'm not even gonna try and argue over here but I'm just gonna say if somebody's telling me that something that I that I heard that was told to me was not said I'm going to defend that and that's Amanda's position and that's why the argument is still ensuing so everything else was like thrown on top of the one thing that's the big target which was what Howard said to Amanda so right. so it, Anyway, that fight now is still going on. Like, they're being cordial. I do have a uh, caption of the two of them standing together with their misfit outfits in the bathroom. But neither are talking to each other, which is awesome. And they're, they're just not engaging. And... <sighs> I, you I, can't, I mean, you can't be Amanda, and you can't sit there and go, oh, my God, I'm so hurt because Howard said he wanted to, to screw me when I get out of the house, and then turn around at his buddy, Candace, and say, you know, why don't you shut up and put Howard's cock in your mouth? I, I thought mean, we weren't going to say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can say that. We can say whatever we want. Michelle, by the way, Michelle, don't forget. She's a hypocrite. She's but, Vicky but behind, <laughs> here's, here's some behind the scenes. Michelle, send me that picture so I can use it for the graphic of this show. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Send me that picture if it's not watermarked. Okay. No, so I can there... get another one that's not watermarked for you. Okay, yes. Um, is there anything yeah, so who else won the POV? Wait, wait, wait. So who won the POV? Jesse won the POV, so all that additional craziness is going down. And now, the minute they come back with the whole fight that Amanda's having, Aaron is running around like a freaking crazy woman that she's scared she's going to be put on the block if, because Amanda might come down or that Amanda's going to stay up. And, you know, what's Jesse going to do? Jesse's going to pull herself down. Jesse's making deals left and right. Aaron is on full paranoia. You got Amanda on full paranoia. Uh, I see another blow up. I think there's going to be either a Candace and Aaron fight or another, you know, obvious Candace and Amanda fight. Well, we can't say if she's green with envy. Who do we think's going home? Is Amanda going home? Well, okay, well, it, it, Spencer's going to go up because they tried to have, uh, Aaron tried to want to get Alyssa to go up. But now Amanda shot that down because she's like, yo, if uh, Alyssa's up there, Helen's not going to vote to keep me. I need Helen to vote to keep me. Like, she's going to vote to keep Alyssa. You know, so I need those votes. You can't do that. And Aaron, Aaron's still trying to work it. Jesse is still, like, talking about it a little bit. You know, it's they know Sunday. that Amanda is dangerous. But, you know, <laughs> she's my pick to win, so go Amanda. Um, yeah. It is Sunday. Know. Even if they had a plan to get Amanda out right now, it would change four times 
I, it doesn't matter. Before right the now. double eviction that we have coming on Thursday. Oh, no. no. Just remember, people, we're gonna blow it up, man. We're we are. So we're gonna we have are. so much. We are going to blow it up in our Z box room. So make sure you guys all join it because uh, Michelle and I are always chatting in there during the East Coast feeds of the East Coast show. And John <laughs> is always in there for the West Coast show. I think that about wraps up our breaking news live feed show for today. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. good. Okay, because I have a surprise, <laughs> but hold on. So don't forget. You guys join our Z-Box room. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Reality Recaps. Please, I can't wait to talk about a C-Big Brother tonight. Join me in our Z-Box room for the West Coast feed. And you can follow me on Twitter at Comedy Jonah. Oh my God. All right, I'm done here. I got to go back to the feed, you guys. I'm going to try and pound out the crap that I've been giving you. Follow me, follow me, follow me on You Got Bronx on Twitter. And double check, comment in the comment sections around here. and. Z box man do it okay so i want to let put both of you on the spot <gasps> in a way and let you both know you've won a million dollars no we actually have a special request from somebody that doesn't really even enjoy big brother so much yet still watches our shows and says that he really misses something from our old shows and this person is um Terrence Flowen over on Twitter. <laughs> and you know what he misses, Michelle? Oh, my long hair? <laughs> no, he misses live surprise eliminations. Oh, oh no! Michelle! Right. 